What's up guys, welcome back to the vlog. What we are doing today to get this video started is heading over to Limitless Coatings. They currently have my air tank for my air ride on the FRS and they also have a bunch of suspension components as well. When I brought all the parts to him, I only brought him like one pound of powder, which was not enough. And the powder that we are doing on all the parts is currently back ordered through prismatic powders. So it may take a while to get the, all the powder in, but I do need to get my air tank back today so I can obviously air up and air out the FRS when I get the wheels built. What's up, man? All right, the air tank has been acquired. It looks absolutely amazing. Check that out. Super, super sick. The same exact color that we did on the calipers. And then all the suspension components I dropped off there are getting done yellow. I did get a few parts that uh, he had already coated, but the rest of that stuff is gonna take a while for the new powder to come in. All right, so we are back at the shop. We got the air tank with us. Looks absolutely amazing. It's gonna look really, really nice with all the other green stuff on this car. I also did pick up some thread sealant. Instead of using like the regular tape like everybody uses and I've used many, many times in the past, I actually got this idea from uh, TJ Hunt. He was using thread sealer, like liquid thread sealer instead of this regular tape right here. And I think that'll be much, much easier to use than the thread tape. The only problem I'm seeing right now, guys, and I do have a very, very good solution for this, the yellow is obviously gonna clash really, really hard with the wood grain we currently have in the trunk. So I know it's not fully assembled, but that is the general idea of how the trunk setup currently is. And while I do like it, and it looks really, really nice with the tank when the tank was that raw finish, I don't know, that just looks kind of too much for me. So it's really crazy how it all worked out, but I think it was the day I asked you guys whether or not I should put carpet back in that trunk. A company had reached out to me and let me know that they make really, really nice floor mats and trunk mats or trunk liners as well. We went back and forth for a while and I ended up deciding on an all black trunk mat and all black floor mats for the wide body FRS. Let's go ahead and open it up, see exactly what we are working with. They literally just showed up today and I got the tank back today as well. Perfect, perfect timing. This car is all coming together right at, literally right at the last minute. So this here is the package, pretty beefy. Let's see what we got inside. Holy crap. So this is what we were working with. Oh man, I don't even know where to start. The stuff quality so far looks freaking amazing. I don't really know which panel is which for what? Um, 2013 Sun FRS. What is this for? I don't even know. Is this for the front? Let's kind of set it all up on the ground. See what exactly we are working with. This stuff is really, really nice. As you can see, it's definitely not made of carpet. It's like soft foam with a really nice stitching pattern. I could have done a lot different coloring. I was thinking about doing green stitching to match the green calipers. But then if you come on the inside, my seats have red stitching, so that definitely wouldn't have matched at all. And then I was gonna do red stitching, but then it wouldn't match the tank. So I'm kind of off on my color coating stuff right now, but it's all good. Well, of course this one right here is clearly for the trunk. Oh my gosh, that is gonna look so nice in there. It's like very classy and elegant looking, uh, if that makes sense. That looks so freaking nice. But we have all of these other mats. I guess we'll figure it out. Let's figure out this trunk mat first though. So what we're gonna do, pull out all this wood right here. I still need the wood to be in there, obviously for the tank and the management to mount to. My compressor is mounted underneath the car. I'll keep that there. I'm gonna keep the setup how it is, the location and all that. I'm just gonna pull the wood out and we need to drill that or make holes in that to exactly where the holes for the mounting locations are. So that's what we are gonna work on right now. So we have the whole trunk wood set up chilling outside. I'm just gonna grab that trunk mat and set it on here. 
drill these six holes or stab those six holes and then we can get the whole setup back in the car with the new yellow tank. I just want to see it on there. Hold up. Let's check this out. So it should look a little something like that with my air management little box right up in front of that tank. Should look so freaking nice in there. I'm thinking about throwing one of the Vossen decals on that tank. What do you guys think? I think it looked pretty good. Maybe I'll try it. One thing I want to figure out though is how to get this mat to sit down onto the wood like permanently. Maybe with Velcro. They sent over two pieces but I think I'm going to cut these in half. Make four pieces and I can use one on each corner. Kind of get it stretched out and laid down perfectly flat on the trunk wood. We got a piece of Velcro right there, one there, and two on that side as well. I'm gonna flip this thing over, get it attached down to the wood, and then we can make our six holes. The only thing I'm not liking about this thing so far is it's really hard for it to attach to the wood. Now I know a stock FRS doesn't have the wood down there, so it would probably attach to the OEM carpet just fine, but me being that I have the wood, it's kind of being a pain in the butt. Another thing is how they folded it up when they shipped it. There's like these creases and a pretty gnarly line right there. So maybe that'll go away with time, I hope. If it didn't have that, it'd look really, really nice, but that kind of takes away from the mat, in my opinion. All right, we got the trunk mat in. Overall, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. If it didn't have that crease right down the center of it and that wasn't there, I would probably rate this thing, I'd do like a nine out of 10. Let's move on to the floor mats, see how good we can get these things to fit. They're massive. Look how big these things are. Pretty dang big. This front one fits 100% perfect. I'm actually kind of blown away that they can make such a big mat. Literally, it goes way up there, comes way back down here. I'm blown away that they can make that fit as good as it does. I'll kind of explain what all these clips and Velcro do. So the Velcro attaches right to the carpet pretty solidly. If you guys pick up a set, you will notice that they have those little clips. I slip those right under the panel. So they really, really just holds it in place. That's how it looks. That is freaking nice. So obviously these smaller ones are for the rear. I probably won't even run them. I'm gonna test them out, make sure they fit good, just so I can give you guys an honest review. But I'm not gonna run them in the car because no one ever sits back there. Let's throw the side in and then we can move on to the rears. So that's how the rear sits. It is a little bit looser, but I think I am gonna run it anyway. But then of course this front one fits perfect. That's how it looks when you're sitting in the car. Oof. Oof, look at them calf gains, bruh. Yeah, I can dig it, guys. Pretty sick. Got the car all finished up. The front floor mats are in, and the trunk mat is in as well. Here is my 100% honesty review. The fronts fit pretty dang good. There's a little gap right there. I'm sure with enough finagling and messing around, I could get that gap to close up. It'd be as simple as just throwing some Velcro on there if I was that worried about it. As far as cleaning goes, I'm not really sure. I have a feeling they're gonna be a bit more difficult just to vacuum up versus a regular set of floor mats just because of the material they're made of. So fronts, I'm very happy with. I feel like the trunk would fit just as well as the fronts if I didn't have the wood flooring, the air ride back here, if it was just like the regular carpet and we put this over the carpet because it already has all the Velcro built in to the backside of the mat. So just Velcro right onto the OEM uh, carpet. So I'm pretty happy with the rear. I did add a little piece of Velcro right there on the wood to get that little bubble out. Other than that though, I think it fits pretty good. My only griping complaint is that line you guys see right there because it was folded up in shipment. So if they could just like roll it up or something and throw it in a box, then I would probably rate this whole set an eight or a nine out of 10. I am very, very happy with them. I do have a discount code for you guys if you wanna pick some of these up. It is Devin30, it'll save you 30% off your entire order. They have mats for pretty much every car I own, I think they have mats for. So go check them out. They'll be linked down in the description box below. First link down there, Devin30 will save you 30% off your entire order, which I'm not gonna lie, these mats are pretty expensive, so that should help out quite a freaking bit. I do have one more question for you guys. My main focus right now obviously has been the interior of the car. We already have the touchscreen in there. We have the personnel steering wheel. 
now we have the mats we got the brom seats i don't know what else to do to the interior of the car if you guys have any ideas whatsoever to kind of spice it up a little bit more drop a comment in the comment section below the only thing i can really think of all this silver stuff either paint black or just buy carbon fiber um, the trunk i'm 100 happy with but up here i feel like we could do a little bit more so if you guys have any suggestions drop them down in the comment section below before we end out today's video remember in a few days when i do that comparison test with the ceramic coat i've been talking about for a while we are giving away 10 free 100 free ceramic coat kits by avalon king if you guys want to go pick it up feel free devin dvn25 saves you 25 dollars off your entire order over there so if you guys don't want to wait for that giveaway you can go pick some up but we are giving away 10 whole kits for absolutely free of the ceramic coating so hope you guys enjoyed today's episode thank you so much for watching once again these things will be linked down in the description box below if you have any other ideas what we could do to the inside of our frs drop a comment down below peace out guys i'll see you tomorrow